In this paper, two people with tetraplegia, that is two people who were unable to move their arms or their legs in any functionally useful way, were able to control a prosthetic or a robotic arm simply by thinking about the movement of their own paralyzed hand. And they did that using the investigational BrainGate neural interface system. One of our participants was able to do something uh, that when all of us saw it uh, for the first time uh, gave us all pause. She reached out with the robotic arm, she thought about the use of her own hand, she picked up that thermos of coffee, brought it close to her, tilted it towards herself, and uh, sipped the coffee from a straw. And that was the first time in nearly 15 years that she had picked up anything and been able to drink from it solely of her own volition. There was a moment of, of true joy, true happiness. I mean, it was beyond the fact that it was an accomplishment, uh, I think an important advance in the entire field of, of brain-computer interfaces, that it was really a moment where we helped somebody do something that they had wished to do for many years.